Bloxy 2 has completely revamped the color palette management system. It introduces a way to save customized palettes to the customizer, as well as adding new colors to the system. This new workflow lets you create the combination of your dreams without resorting to implementing additional plugins or code. In this short video, we'll check out how the new color palette management system works. And to get started, click on the Customize button in the top toolbar, and then continue by choosing Colors. By default, you get a palette that holds eight different colors, which can be used throughout the customizer and any compatible page editor, such as Gutenberg or Elementor. Clicking on one of the colors presents you with a standard picker where you can choose the color that you want. Notice that you can also insert your colors as hex codes or even copy the present value. This comes in handy if your design documents have these codes available. And if you're working on a more advanced project, you can also see the name of the CSS variable that's used for this color. Now, clicking on the three dotted advanced menu, you will have a couple of new options. Here, you can add a new color to the palette, expanding the possibilities for editing your website. And if you change up your mind, you can also click the little X button to remove a color from the palette. But the more interesting feature is the palette management system. As you can see, clicking on the three dotted advanced menu gives you an option to save a palette as a new one or manage your existing palettes. Since this is our first time managing palettes, it is required to save a new one to get the full effect. Click on the Save Palette button to save the current set of colors. Click on the Advanced menu once again and choose Color Palettes. The Management modal opens up showcasing what's available for use. You can see two tabs of interest here, Predefined and Custom. The Predefined tab will house the colors that come standard with the theme. Think of these as a starting selection to test the waters. The Custom tab will house all of your saved color palettes. And as you can see, our freshly saved palette is already there with all the others that we have saved. With this out of the way, let's check out the support that's built into the page editor. Go back to the front end of the site, then click on Edit Page in the toolbar. Pick any element and look for its color settings. And there we go. The added colors that we've previously talked about are here. And that would be it. A simple yet comprehensive look at the new color palette management system in Bloxy 2, giving you more options when it comes to designing your website while keeping clutter to a minimum. Pretty colorful. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy 2 has to offer, continue on onto our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching. Uh -huh.